Hey guys, welcome back to Rooted Homeschool. I am talking to you guys about our playroom makeover today. I'm hoping babies don't wake up because it's around the time that they wake up the first time of the night. My husband is in the shower, possibly trying to avoid being in the video, but I couldn't possibly do this video without him. Um, it's the big reveal. It was a seven day project. My husband just got out of the shower. I think he's getting his coffee. I have tea because um, I feel like I'm coffeeed out. Okay. Ooh, yeah. This is mine. Okay. Okay, so here's the story behind the playroom. Um, I, maybe I kind of want you to tell it. So, uh, <laughs> um, for Valentine's Day, we tried to do something a little different to spend time together. So we... Got a hotel room. A night room. with zero kids. And we naturally get along really well, whether it's taking care of kids or doing projects like this. So it was almost weird to have nothing to do. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have so many kids. We almost came home. Yeah, so we almost, I was like, do you, you know, do we both just need to go home because we miss the kids so bad? So we almost went back. And, you know, after that, we realized that we wanted to talk about possibly remodeling the playroom mm -hmm. and we decided to write some things down mm -hmm. and then before we also we had done the diva down. right yeah before we're gonna write things down i've shared this on my instagram and on my top 10 homeschool and parenting books cultivate um the cultivate series it's devotions but it just really is like a beautiful book we chose the one called envision and it was about vision casting in your marriage. It was really, really cool and just happened to be like the perfect Valentine, I think. Mm. Perfect Valentine Devo to do together. So we did that first. Um, and then... Then we started trying to brainstorm about what we wanted to do with the playroom. And then we started having a good time. Really glad we didn't leave. Yeah. And go home earlier. We were pumped. We were like so excited. <laughs> having so much fun. Oh. Fix my hair a little bit, so just hold on. So then, <laughs> are you good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what? Yep, okay. That was your Valentine's Day gift, was the That's whole weekend, good. and it kind of overflowed into the, the room here. What's important, like, to us, that each of them felt like they were thought about in the design you know we kind of dedicated this as the destiny room and thinking about like what are their gifts speaking of gifts just wait a second is that what's should i pause that so christina just stepped away and I can barely move. I'm so sore from this right there. But uh, well, let me just test this out. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm back. Our two-year-old is up. If you haven't seen our Instagram versus real life episode, you're gonna wanna go watch that. It'll explain. We hope you enjoy seeing our playroom makeover and so check it out what the playroom looks like currently but this is like the family picture wall that he had done one time when he redid the playroom and it was really cute at the time and the kids loved it but it needs to go we need to do something else with those these were an easel that i had since my oldest was two and i just loved it and it was sentimental to me he's gonna try to get rid of those um that little table i've had just as long we're not sure what we're going to do with that kitchen same thing this bookshelf as well and then this used to be the hutch on his changing table my oldest so it's at least 13 years old so we are just a couple of hours in i'll show you what we have those easels are off the wall but look so there's some pretty decent damage to fix Juju, what are you doing? Oh, honey, 
wait, is that the last bracket? Nope. Oh, I forgot about the lightsaber bracket. So it fits a star, don't hit the button. So you're gonna put it in, this one's a little bit on an angle, and we're gonna pull out, so you're gonna press down, press down. Yeah. Right you gotta push in? Yep, a little bit. Take you doing that. Make a gun. Nice, perfect. Okay, so it's day two. My husband said, what did you say in the next 20 minutes? You want everything out? Hour. Next hour, he wants this clear. So that's the goal. And yeah, here we go, day two. husband is not an official carpenter but he's a carpenter as far as I'm concerned and uh, Jesus was a carpenter so <laughs> I mean yeah and Jesus definitely exactly Jesus wasn't licensed as a carpenter probably the best carpenter of all time am I right so you're in good company babe Cut the other side. How does it seem, babe? Oh, it's cute. Yep. It'll get a coat of paint. And it's going right under there. That's perfect. Love that. So repurposing stuff makes me super happy. And that is what's taking place. So the only thing for this little part of the project that we had to actually purchase was this little piece of wood here. Um, this was from the main bookshelf. This is some wood that was left over from another project that we had. And then this was the only thing that we had to buy. And I think these were what, like $1.95 a piece? Mm -hmm. We needed six of them, mm -hmm. so not too bad. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? Is it dark out? No. 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 Is it time for night night? No. Please. I mean, no. Uh... <laughs> All right, guys. So it's day three. Day three is pretty much cleaning and painting. There's a lot of patching of holes and things that needs to take place. This is my husband's little setup that he has ready to go. Um, Seth spent most of the time in the first half of the day cleaning up from all of the dust, from building stuff through the night and yesterday. So we went to Lowe's and we got my favorite color gray, which is grayish by Sherwin-Williams. So he's working on the closet door. And then you can see next to it where I started cutting in. And then I also started cutting in here. We couldn't decide if we wanted these Montessori style bookshelves the same color as the wall or if we wanted to do them white. So we're trying out same as the wall. Trying so we'll see. Wow, that's what people think of working really hard. Well, this might be good to show all of Sethi's artwork down there on the door that's going Art to get covered it. up. So as I started painting this first shelf, I decided that on this trim, I wanted to be able to see the wood grain through and almost have just a stained look. So before it dried, I took just like a wet paper towel. I'll probably get a rag now. I was just trying to be quick. And I'm just wiping the paint off so that it matches, but these, the trim will actually have more of like a gray wash look to it. I want to 
wanted to share with you guys that we decided to go with soft gray on the trim as opposed to a white, um, just to give it like a more modern updated version. And then I want to show you how these shelves came out that I decided to gray wash the front of as opposed to doing them all solid. So these are the shelves and I did them the same color of the wall. I did them in grayish. We're going to do the wall supports for the desk the same color of the wall that they're on. So on the left, they're going to be grayish and then on the right, they'll be that same black chalkboard paint. And then we think we decided, right, babe, that we're going to do the shelves that same gray wash that we did that front trim so yeah. that you see the wood grain on them. Hey guys, it's about 1.18 in the morning. I fell asleep and then woke up at about 11.30 and was like, let me get going on this black. Black is not easy to make a seam with white. So pray for me. So day four, we've done nothing in here so far today and it's about, what is it babe, 1.30? Yep. 1.30, so I just shared this over on my Instagram story that even though we're doing this playroom for the kids, like this is all about the kids, we realized that like every single one of them really needed some of our attention today. And so we stopped everything and just made sure that we did that. That's one thing that people ask us a lot, um, whether it be in real life or on social media, like how do you guys manage all that? How do you make it work? And I think it's really important to just make sure that like everyone's needs are being met and if that means stopping everything, then that means stopping everything sometimes. So I say all that to say it's the middle of the day, day four, we're just getting started. I'll show you what we have so far. Um, all the patchwork that my husband did yesterday is dry and ready to be sanded and painted. So we'll do that. This is the progress that I made last night, starting the chalkboard wall. Um, I did all of the cutting in except for the top because I'm um, 5'3". Um, so my husband will do that after he does the ceiling. I also was a little discouraged to realize that we have to wait three days before we can condition it, which is just rubbing white chalk, the side of white chalk onto the entire thing and then erasing it off to sort of prep it. I'll show you what Seth is starting with today. He's starting to cut in the ceiling. Okay, so I'm gonna get started while Seth is doing the ceiling. I'm gonna start painting these shelves that will go up there in our art corner. So we're gonna paint them grayish underneath, which is the color of the wall and these shelves. And we're gonna go with this same design where underneath will be solid grayish and then the top I'm gonna gray wash like I did these. So I have all of the shelves here. I have my grayish, I have a wet rag and my paintbrush. Okay, so I'm painting the underside of all of these shelves. This is my third one. I have the biggest one I'm saving for last. So I'm doing the underside, the solid grayish, and then when they all dry, I'll flip them over and do the gray wash with the grayish on the top. And Seth is still cutting in the ceiling. Okay, so I finished painting underneath of all of the shelves that will go up there for the art station. And now I'm working on gray washing the tops of them. I just started doing my first one. And then Seth is starting to roll the ceiling now after cutting in. So making progress, day four. And then I think I'm gonna give this like a minute max. Okay, so it's been about a minute. So I'm gonna take my wet rag and I'm just gonna start wiping. I think because this board is also a lot smoother and not as porous, um, it wipes off easier. Like I had to scrub really hard on the front of the bookshelves to get it off. Where this one, it like comes off super easy. So now I'm doing little circles to kind of get rid of the streaky look. So it's 5 a.m. day five, and I'm just praying that the kids don't wake up early. I'm about to roll this wall. 
It's my first time rolling. Pray for me. Seth is about to leave for basketball, men's basketball. He's been up all night building. Monkey bars, so that's pretty cool. But now he's getting a little break, I guess, to go play basketball. I would be taken, I would sleep. But anyway, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna paint that black panel with chalkboard paint because these all say pens. But we're gonna use these for all the different utensils. So guys, I'm super excited to hang these up. I've been waiting for this moment. This is the fun part that I love. So we have one curtain. finished cutting in that wall, the chalkboard wall, and it's going to need like another coat or two up there, but it's got, you know, it's fully covered. And he puttied some of the monkey bars um, that, that'll need to dry and be sanded and repainted. And then he is working on changing out the light fixture. Shelves are going in, it's official. So the ballet bars are going on this wall, but do you know where the studs are? The studs? Yeah. <laughs> so we have our first brackets up. Okay guys, day six at night. I think it's technically day seven now because it's past midnight, but. This really fun thing. We got the trapeze up. So it's day seven and we got done with everything as promised for the kids. We told them before dinner time, it's before dinner time. I have a couple things to set up decor wise, but other than that, everything is done. This is my favorite part, getting to decorate. This is the icing on the cake. So this is a part I've been waiting for all week.
Destiny room. Whoa. Whoa. That is not what I was expecting at all. Yeah. This is truly times better than what I was expecting. It was. Wait, how do you. Are these actually usable? Yeah. Yeah, what? those are for you to work out on. That's so sick. This whole place oh, is Gia, a ladder. You have a trapeze. Bro. To swing like from the greatest showman. And swip and and swim. This is like my yeah, new favorite room like in the bars. house, just saying. There's ballet bars, yeah, one for you, for one for mom. Ballet. <laughs> this is like my new favorite room. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. So what you do is you unhook it. This is so it can hook up out of the way for you. Oh, yes, that's so sick. He's working out. Yeah. While someone's doing art. Nice, Jack. While someone oh, I'll show you what I climbing on the monkey. This was not what I was expecting. Me too. I didn't know you guys were gonna buy so me a trapeze box. Yeah, the map different. Them apps. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you want to go in there? What do you think? Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing our playroom makeover, the whole process. We definitely had our moments where it was like, Too yikes, much. that went wrong, or yikes, we're not going to finish, or yikes, I woke up and someone happened to start a different project that we didn't plan that ended up being one of the kids' favorite things. Why do I feel like you're talking about me all the time? <laughs> Not gonna name any names. Yeah, like, cause I am. Someone decided no. So what else? Um. My <laughs> guess. <laughs> um. Yeah, pray and ask God to give you vision, like in the little things and the big things, in the happy, positive things, in the hard things. <laughs> You did a great job. Thank you. We're not done. I'm going to sleep on the couch. No, 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 the no, no. We have to say goodbye to her. All right, let's There's say goodbye. You have to do the whole like. You have to do that whole like. Like it. Yep. Comment. Smash that like button. Subscribe. All right. If Wait. you like this, subscribe. I'm going to lay down on the couch with the babies. All right. Okay. Follow us on Instagram mm -hmm. at rooted underscore homeschool. And on Facebook at Rooted Homeschool Life on Facebook. I'll link them in the description. Go check out my Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. Teachers Pay Teachers. I have some free stuff on there. I'll link a lot of this stuff in the description if you want to grab some of this. I will be doing a giveaway soon of some playroom stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Justice, our 13-year-old, will be doing a skateboarding video That's soon. That's going to be cool. So if you have kids that either like skateboarding or they might want to learn how to skateboard, he is going to start from the bottom up with some skateboarding tips. Um, Jackson might do some art video. I've had great idea so far. Yeah. What else? Are we, anything else? Oh, they're pumped. I'm pumped. I am too. I genuinely am. You want to say stay rooted or no? Yeah. Can you say it? Because I always say it. Stay rooted. Okay. See you next time.